Hi, I'm Brian English from the forum named Hyperbytes. In this module, we're going to look at the logout action. But before we go to that, I realized after producing the video that um, I had the logic incorrect in hiding and showing the login option. Um, if you look at what I actually put, I said we want to hide the login if the identity is less than one. Well, that means basically we're hiding it if nobody is logged in which of course is completely backwards to what we want so we can either change this condition here so i could say if it was greater than zero or we could change the condition to from a hide to a show now i want to do that just so you can see how to do that uh, if we find that line of code you can see it says dmx hide and then the conditions and if you wanted to you can actually just manually change that to show there we are, we've reversed that condition completely. There's one other thing as well that I realized as we've gone a bit further on, uh, a bit of a blunder that I made, shall we say, um, and I'm going to explain what it is. Uh, some of you may have picked it up. When I produced the login action, when we went into the success event, we actually in spe specified um internal what we actually need to do is when that person logs in we need to force that layout page to reload because of course the whole point of these internal links is that the external the layout page remains unchanged and only the content in the middle is actually changed so by clicking internal we actually say don't load that layout page which means that that server action that we have inside that layout page will not run. So for all we will produce a login action or a logout action, as far as that layout page was concerned, nothing has changed because it hasn't reloaded. So if we go back into that login um, section and just take out the internal link with a browser go to, otherwise um, you will find that basically you log in log out and it'll not actually have a clue what the current status is so a very simple change sorry that was an oversight on my behalf once you've corrected those two full pass um, and save that then we're going to go back into our template and we're going to look at the logout action so i'll just delete that out because that was a test run So we're going to create a new API action. We're going to call that logout. Yes, I have done a few runs through because that logic error we had before absolutely threw me until I realized what I'd done. Um, we're going to add a an action to that. And this is a really simple one. Security provider, security logout. With reference to anybody who is logged in on a Comweb security provider. Save that. That is actually our API action done. Really, really simple. We're now going to go into our main, our menu. We're going to pick the logout option. I'll just point out here, if you're in app connect mode, then that menu will become contact sensitive. If you're not, then it doesn't. So, but if we're at our logout action now, we actually haven't told it to do anything. And instead of calling a page, as we've done with the login, I'm actually going to call that logout action directly from the menu. And I want to do that by a mouse click event. And then on the mouse click, we're going to run another flow. At this point, I'm going to add, introduce you to something new, Bootstrap Dialogues. I'm not quite sure why they repeated twice. I'm sure that there's a reason, but uh, let's pick a confirm. In other words, a yes, no. Um, we'll just give that a, a name for identity purposes. What message are you, do you want to uh, send to the user? Well, that would be, do you wish to log out? The title on that box will be log out. Confirm, in other words, the yes option will be log out. And the cancel option, we will say cancel. We 
we say that's a conditional so we'll only have to tell it what to do if the person says yes what we're going to do is we're going to data sources server connect and we're going to tell it to run that logout action once we've done that we need to then tell them to uh, perhaps give a confirmation we could tell it to do a no number of other things but the important thing is that we need to do this logout action then we might I think after that probably want to send them to a new page or the back to the home page so that uh, we know where they know where to go so we're just going to save that first We'll just check that because I've had a couple of occasions, oh, speak of the devil, where when I've created a flow, including a bootstrap dialogue, when I've hit save, it hasn't saved. That seems to be one. So I find that find this quite difficult today I uh, was sweltering in a heat wave here and at the moment uh, I am very hot and bothered I think is a polite way of putting it then uh, actually what I'm going to do because I find this works really well it's silly you know I pointed out that issue regarding not saving properly I find if I put a comment in and save it invariably it does save correctly I need to prepare something in terms of a, a bug report for that it's okay so we're going to our data sources again we're going to call that logout action and we'll save that now we have to think about what's happening we've logged out but at the moment, that server action, that API action, um, the global who am I, isn't aware of that logout because that layout page actually has not been refreshed. So add a browser component to your layout page. Um, I've actually done this previously, but uh, in fact, I'll take it out and put it back in again just so nobody can say I don't know how to do that. There we are, browser. Well, then what we're going to do is on the logout action, we are going to go back to our flow. We're going to add an action and we're going to do the run again. So, because we want to run that browser, go to and we're going to take it to the home page and again very important do not click internal because what we're actually doing is forcing that page to refresh itself refresh that layout so that it understands that the current user has in fact been logged out so if we save that and now we can add our condition to the logout as well um, so we can hide and show appropriately so if we go into our display and we're going to show it this is the mistake we made earlier or I made earlier that uh, we're going to show it if the identity is greater than one sorry greater than zero um, In other words, somebody is logged in. So let's save that now. We should be actually running the, the content page. So let's, we're logged out in a minute. Let's pick login. Let's go for Brian at hyperbytes.co.uk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Complicated password. Let's try and spot the mistake. Obviously, I can't manage a string of ones accurately. So now, 
our login has disappeared and now we have our logout because we are logged in so logout now we call that um, bootstrap dialog do we want to log out yes we want to log out our home page we've gone back to the home page and you see now that our login option has reappeared so that login and logout is now working correctly exactly as we wanted would wanted to do so so uh, look forward to seeing you in the next module Thank you.